go back for a couple Was there conversations at the beginning of when this started? Season two. Here's the tent poles, like what we'll get to at the end of season one, what we'll see for season two. What do you know? What, what can you tell us about kind of the long journey of the show and what the plans are? Well, they're very secretive about what we can't say and can't say, <laughs> yeah. which is very frustrating because eventually everyone can see it. But there's a lot of stuff happening. It's a, look, it's a huge cast. It's a lot of people who are abducted, a lot of people who are again. And um, what I think makes it a kind of a different half hour comedy, at least for the kind that Oscar and I have worked on, is that it is incredibly plot oriented. Yes. And, and I've seen who's joined us this year, which yeah. is a, a new character. She's in the FBI. That's the whole new thing. Yeah, we're sort of always battling. I think, I mean, not to get all like heavy about it, but like, the show is about ideas of being an outsider, of being an alien, of being a part of society or outside of society. And so, I mean, obviously that lends itself to comedy, but it also lends itself to a lot of sort of deeper political questioning. I think that's where a lot of the emotion comes from, too. You really feel for this group who's found. Like solace in each other, and then when you see them go their separate ways, it's perfect. That's nice to hear. Thank you. <laughs> it is very emotional. It's surprisingly so, and it's funny because we are all cast as comedians. We're definitely a bunch of funny people, and we have a great time together. But I think for us, it's a very, very real experience. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. Really yeah. Without having to like, you know, audition for CSI, <laughs> it's kind of refreshing. Do you do you like playing the serious stuff? Yeah, in the context of a comedy, sure. I, I mean, you know. She doesn't like to talk much. She's a trained actor. I like to use my gift <laughs> and to support. She doesn't talk to, she doesn't I, speak about it. I like what I do is so rare in comedy to use the full diaphragmatic support. It's both sides of the same coin. We are clowns and yet we can make you cry. It's just what we do. Look it's what we do, Anna. <laughs> We're tragic comics. We're tragic comics. What are teases for, for how the relationship with, with, with your character? Where things go for yours and yours? Priest <laughs> will become physical in an acceptable way. Okay. Yeah. I want to put that delicately as it's not acceptable. He is a priest. Has he broken his vows? I don't know. But if he has, it's acceptable. It's not with something that you say, that's against the law. How old is that person? No. It's perfectly acceptable. Yes. Okay. Uh, my character will spend the entire season like, codependently caring for crazy people while trying to balance her own psyche, which is really what she did last season as well. But and both our characters want to be the caregiver. Oh, yeah, we're the special one where the competition to see who's more sensitive. We're both a little annoyed that we have another caregiver. So that's the bit. We work, we do that bit. Gaston and I, we do that thing back and forth. It's like a tug of war. Yeah. Well, we can't wait to see 